with only two days remaining of our trip to the Black Hills of South Dakota, I couldn't help but reflect on the incredible experience as well as the profound impact the trip was having on me personally. Those who are veterans of the Sturgis Rally or those who have visited South Dakota many times will always remember and probably with fond memories of their first trip. Well today, creating those kinds of memories continue as we take a ride through a special place of South Dakota. This morning, what we're gonna do, we're gonna ride Beatles Highway, and that should be very interesting. And we just wanna bring you guys along with us. Well, hello everyone and welcome to the channel and to today's video. You know, this is the final episode before the series finale of our South Dakota trip, which is probably just a cooler way of saying it's the next to the last video of our South Dakota trip. But remember, if you enjoyed this episode, make sure you smash that like button. And if you enjoy the content, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already and hit that bell notification. So we hope you sit back and enjoy the next few minutes. Before leaving for the Needles Highway ride, we thought we'd try a breakfast from a vendor who sets up at the campground and provides a breakfast and some dinner for the campers. We found it to be very good and really convenient, and especially convenient for campers who may not have cooking options with them. It's actually good. Yeah. It's actually good. This is at, um, a small cafeteria that they have on the campground. And so Daryl thought that this morning we'd come down and have breakfast and I'm having, what am I having, half rounds and a three egg omelet and it's actually really good. The Needles Highway is 60 miles from Spearfish, so we were able to enjoy about an hour's ride through some more of the beautiful wide open roads of the Black Hills. And we did so with Jeff and Diane from Southern Utah who were camping next to us. We traveled through Hill City, another old town that was established in 1877. We didn't stop to explore it, but it's on our list for our next trip out here. Man, I just love these old towns, so different than the places back home. The Needles Highway is located inside of Custer National Park, which required a $20 fee for a week's pass. And after paying the entrance fee, it wasn't long before we were greeted with some of the uniqueness of this 14 mile stretch that critics said could never be constructed. With its 300 plus curves, its multiple switchbacks, not to mention two single lane, narrow tunnels. The road is designed for you to take it slow and enjoy this spectacular drive through pine and spruce forest, meadows surrounded by birch and aspen, and of course, its rugged rock formations that developed from cooled magma millions of years ago. You can count on this ride taking you about 45 minutes to an hour, depending on how much time you spend at one of the several stops along the way. Now as we approach the most famous part of the road, the Needles Eye Tunnel. Its entrance surrounded with rock formations that look to be dropped in place from another planet. And after a short wait of wonderment, the traffic attendant allows us to enter.
with a width of just over eight feet and a clearance just over 12 feet. It's pretty tight. As I mentioned earlier, there are several pull-offs where you can stop and catch your breath and talk to your friends about the incredible, beautiful, natural landscapes you've just seen. Now time for us to do just that, stop and catch our breath. But I have to say, I didn't catch my breath. I actually had it taken. Now, more riding, and needless to say, more wonderment. It's all I could do to keep my eyes on the narrow road ahead. And as you see these rear facing angles, they're not so that you can see my shining face. Oh no, the camera caught some of the beautiful images of the granite formations as we pass through. And these formations tower over the highway, reaching to the beautiful blue skies above. More needle formations, which is actually where the highway gets its name. And another pull-off where you can take in more of the splendor 
that touches you deep in your soul. I don't think the cameras captured the narrowness of parts of this road, which is another reason we took our time as we passed many other motorcyclists doing the same thing we were. Now we soar through the final tunnel of our ride of Needles Highway, named the Iron Creek Tunnel. We found the southern part of the highway, not quite as interesting as the northern part. However, it's still a beautiful ride as we continue to meet other riders on their journey. Wow, what an amazing ride. You know, we always enjoy meeting those of you who subscribe to our channel and watch the videos. And we have the honor of doing that on just about every trip we take. And this trip was no different. In fact, have a look. guys thanks for watching and be sure to join us in the series finale of our South Dakota trip as we participate in a special ride and we travel to the Stonehouse Saloon that's absolutely in the middle of nowhere and not to mention we get to spend some time with some fellow youtubers from California and visit them in their Tiffin motorhome all that and more coming up in the next video as always thanks for watching till next time be well and stay safe